Bahkan Just want me to go. <laughs> I'm about halfway to Cork, I think, and I just stopped to get some food and go to the toilet because normally I can't go more than an hour without going to the toilet. I don't know, something wrong with me. I'm going to Cove. So I think I might stop in Cork City on the way and have a look around because I've never been. Because I can't check in until three anyway into my Airbnb. So I'm probably going to do that. Fast forward to like two minutes later, I'm not going to Cork. So it's like an hour and a half from here to Cork. And then it's like an hour and 35 minutes from here to Cove. But from Cork to Cove is about a half an hour. So I'm just going to go straight to Cove now. down so I haven't really looked so this is kind of my first time looking as well so you come in through this door and then it's kind of like a shared apartment if you want to call it that so I have upstairs and then I think next door has downstairs just a few stairs you have to go up very important <laughs> mirror loads of paintings and stuff pictures of cove that's the cathedral story about the titanic that's the gate you come in, so it's just off a little road there. Continuing up the stairs. Do, do. First room you see into is the kitchen, dining room, sitting room. The first thing I want to show you is the view. So that's the Cove Marina, just there basically. And that's kind of where the main town is. Then there's also houses and stuff. Cork is a very patriotic place. <laughs> when you come in, you have the TV. A nice area. Oh! Monkeys. A nice armchair. If I wanted to exercise, they have a bike, so I might use that. This is the living room area. This is also a bed, so if you had more than two people. Bar area. Oh, for me. Nice lemon water. I love these tiles. I love this kitchen as well. Nice and green with the white wall tiles. And the black sink. Oh, that's so nice. Tea station. So there's a nice selection here. Washing machine. Loads of appliances. Is that an air fryer? Coffee machine. Bedroom. So they have these cool lamps. One made out of gin bottle. One made out of a whiskey bottle. And massive wardrobe for <laughs> all the stuff you brought on your weekend away. Chair. Another view. Loads of brochures of what you can do here, which is handy. Most important room. The bathroom. Or the jacks, as I like to call it. Again, love the tiles. Uh, right. Interesting. Seeing. Another mirror. That window is frosted, so nobody can see in. Oh, there's... I think this is a party house. <laughs> Plant. Nice shower. It's absolutely roasting him. It's like 15 or 16 degrees. So it's 10 past four. So it's too early to get like lunch or something. I might go have a walk around, take a few videos, maybe get a drink and then get dinner later on. I'm so excited to be here. This is the first time I've been like alone in, I don't know, ages the last time i went somewhere by myself was berlin in 2019 so it's a long time ago so i'm happy to be here Whoever asked about 
um, is it not weird eating by yourself when you solo travel? I said, no, but you know what's weirder? Filming yourself with a massive camera that has a massive microphone on top of it. Also, I'd just like to note that I haven't seen any pigeons, so I think there's something up with Cork or maybe just Cove in general. I'm gonna make a new conspiracy theory that there's no pigeons here because this is where the surveillance system is on the pigeons that are actually computers. That's that. I'm just sitting here with... <laughs> Aaron, you're going to be embarrassed. <laughs> a can of Budweiser. <laughs> because what else would I be drinking? I was gonna get Guinness, but then I didn't really want to drink it out of a can. And I asked in the shop, I was like, does anywhere here do takeaway pints? And they were like, no. I mean, that's definitely a Dublin thing. He said the nearest place is if you go to Cork City, so I'm not doing that. Like, I have to get a takeaway because they're the only places for food that are open. I'm uh, probably gonna get a Chinese. So I'm just gonna sit here for another while, enjoy my cans, and then go get food. Never mind the pigeons. There's no fucking seagulls. This is a very suspicious. I'm gonna have to investigate further. So I'm just home now and I got Chinese and I'm going to watch a bit of Netflix. It's about seven o'clock now. So I might go out later on at like half nine for a little walk around as well. But for now, I'm just gonna relax and watch my Netflix. Morning. It's half eight in the morning now. I've been awake for an hour. I actually set my alarm for 10 to give myself a lie on, but uh, my brain just doesn't let me lie on after like eight o'clock, so here we are. It's very gray outside. It kind of looks foggy. The forecast yesterday said it was gonna rain from like 6 a.m. all through the day, and now it says it's not starting till 11. So I'm gonna assume again that the weather forecast is lying because it always lies, and it's not gonna rain at all today. At 12 I'm going to the Titanic Museum here because Cove is the last place the Titanic docked before it left for America. That's the main reason why I wanted to come to Cove. This is my favourite thing. I'm gonna make eggs and toast and tea now. said it's now raining but it's like misty rain you're like oh I don't need a jacket it's fine and then you get soaked but luckily the Titanic thing is only just down the road I'm just back from the Titanic I think it's called the Titanic experience and it took me about an hour or so so there is like four guided bits where you have a tour guide telling you stuff, telling you stories about people on the Titanic. And then the last bit is kind of like self-guided. So there's videos, there's survivors accounts of the event, there's afterwards the investigation into it. There's a model of the Titanic as well. And then I'm the worst. Anytime I go to like a museum or something like that, I'm like, I have to buy something in the gift shop. So I was walking around and the woman on reception was just like, oh, did you enjoy it? And I was like, yeah, it was really, really good. I'm really interested. I love history and she was like oh hold on a second she was like I'll give you something here so she went I'll get it now she went around the gift shop and she got me this it's like newspaper articles the day of and kind of the days before the Titanic sank so she said I can have that for free see that's the thing about traveling alone if I was here with other people when the receptions asked me like oh did you enjoy the tour or whatever I probably would just been like yeah it was good and then like left but because I was by myself you're kind of more willing to talk to people but <laughs> I also bought other stuff. Is anybody else like me? Like I just, I, I can't. If it's like a museum or something, I'm like, oh. So this is what I got. A magnet, because me and my brother and my dad and my mom get magnets of wherever we go to put it on the fridge. Cool. I also bought two postcards. So I got one for my Nana and then I got one for my uncle. I also got this like tin mug. They also had like a uh, China cups as well. And then the last thing I got, I was kind of like, well, I get this or do I need it? Don't I? But I got a Titanic hoodie. I got it in a large because for them to be bigger. And that's all I have. So I'm going to eat my lunch now and then I'm going to drive into Cork City. 
and just want to say last night did I buy tickets to see the Eurovision winners Maniskin in Italy? Maybe. Yeah, I did. I think it's Florence on the 1st of April. So <laughs> anyone else wants to come, go buy your ticket now and let me know. I was only there for like an hour. Still raining, so I'm soaked. I've got changes my tracks and bottoms, and I'm gonna eat my, I call it bajoum, but it's bougie. And I'm gonna have my other can that I bought yesterday, and I'm gonna watch some Netflix. There is a TV, but the TV's far away, so I feel like this is bigger, because it's right in front of me. Okay, one last time. These are small, but the ones out there are far away. <laughs> so I'm going to watch all this. So me and my friends have been here before, and there's a really famous row of houses. It's on a really, really steep hill, and they're called the Deck of Cards. There's this picture that everyone gets, and it has all of the houses, and it also has the cathedral in the background. And last time we were here, we walked up to the top of the hill and kind of went around a wall on the other side, but we couldn't get the picture. And yesterday I tried again because the last time we saw like a little park thing, and we were like, oh, they probably take the pictures from the park. So I went into the park this time, and that wasn't it either because it only gets like half the houses in. I'm gonna have to go again and see can I figure out where you take the pictures from. So I've just walked back to the car. I'm dying. Those hills are so hard. It's like a five minute walk. It's not even long, but when you have like three bags, it's a bit harder. I just walked past the cathedral there and 10 o'clock mass was just finishing. So I got to see all the L ones coming out, loving their lives, chatting away to each other. So that was nice. It's about a three hour drive home and it's about half 10. So I'll probably get there at like three o'clock or something. <laughs> Because I, I need I will need to stop for petrol and then I probably want to get my car washed and then I probably want lunch as well. So I'm gonna have to stop once at least. Here we go. Stop. Hello. Hello. Did you miss me? No. I doesn't care. Well, more interesting going outside, right? 